if St. George, Utah is on your short list of top places to retire, this video is for you. We're going to talk about five reasons why it might be the best idea you have ever made and five reasons why you might regret it. And if you stick around until the very end of this video, we're going to cover top five communities that our clients that have retired here absolutely love living in. My name is Michonne Restoption, and I have lived in Southern Utah my entire life. My husband, Nick, has lived here for the past 10 years, so he will be able to really give you an outsider's perspective of what it's like living here, while I, on the other hand, will be able to give you the insider scoop of what it's like living, working, and playing here in Southern Utah. So I think it'll be interesting for you guys to see a perspective of a local versus somebody that was a Southern Utah transplant at some point almost 10 years ago. Folks, we absolutely love hearing from you. Over the last few years in our real estate career, we have helped literally hundreds of people relocate to Southern Utah from all over the place. Michonne and I, between our insider knowledge, know Southern Utah and St. George area sideways, backwards, up and down. So if you're thinking about moving into this area, please reach out to us, call us, text us, email us, reach out to us on social media if you prefer. Tell us a couple of things that you absolutely must have for your lifestyle, a couple of things that you're looking for in a neighborhood, and we will make sure to match you with a community that will be absolutely perfect for you and your needs. Let's talk about five reasons why moving to Southern Utah might be a great idea. Let's talk about low property taxes. Southern Utah and St. George, Washington County in particular, has really low property taxes compared to most of the surrounding areas, most of the Pacific West. And on average, property tax bill here is right under $2,000. It's between seventeen dollars to $1,800 based on the, the median home value right now. The way the property taxes are calculated in Washington County is the assessed value of your property times 0.08%, so less than 1% if it's your secondary residence. But if it's your primary residence and if you're retiring here, there's a good chance that it will be, you get a primary resident discount, which is a 45% discount. So the assessed value of your home I don't know, let's just say it's a million dollar home, gets depreciated by 45%. So you get taxed on 55% of the total value of that home. So in the scenario with a million dollar home primary residence, you would be looking at an assessment of only 550,000 multiplied by 0 0.08. And next on our list is our great healthcare, which obviously is really important. You're never really more than 10, 15 minutes away from hospital or great healthcare. IHC healthcare system has been absolutely awesome. IHC hospitals have been building out here for years. They recently just built out their cancer center. Yeah, they, they literally offer any specialist, any service that you need. We'll list right here all the different services that they offer. The beautiful new facilities. and They're constantly um, adding on to it as well. And they're just right five minutes away from downtown St. George. So if you live anywhere in this community, you never have to worry about being too far away. So pretty much anywhere in Washington County, St. George and all the surrounding areas, if there's ever a need for you to rush to the hospital, you're, you're no more than 10 minutes away. And even any major procedure, St. George has the best doctors, the best specialists. I think you'll You'll be really happy with it here. The facilities are super clean and really nice. I just gave birth at the hospital recently, and it was an amazing Phenomenal. experience. Yeah, All the staff, everybody that was there was incredible, incredible to work with. Yeah, for sure. And next on our list is the weather and climate. With nearly 255 sunny days a year, St. George may be an excellent place for you to relocate, if especially if you're coming from a place like I, I moved here from the Midwest, so I'm used to having about nine months of terrible weather and about three months of so-so weather anticipating fall. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of you can relate. Some of the weather highlights, our summer high is probably July. July and August are probably the most unpleasant months here. And some days can get up to 110, and it's not 
every day consistently, but some days we'll get up to like 110 and it doesn't really cool off at night. It'll maybe get down to like 80. Um, so if you can weather through these two months, close to three months of hot weather, it's so worth it for the rest of the year. The rest of the year is perfect. It Get almost never snows. If it snows, it's usually gone by noon. Uh, we are in high desert, so our elevation here is around 2,700 feet above sea level. So you'll you'll experience a little bit of a mild winter. So there's probably about a month or two where you'll see sometimes even below freezing temps overnight, but like maybe for 10 nights a year. And then by the time you wake up in the morning, it's probably in... 45 50 and then midday when the sun comes up you're like 55 60 and it's hard to imagine like we have a really dry climate and if you've never been here me saying 100 or 110 might sound absolutely terrible but we don't have any humidity here so unless you're actually here and you experience it it might sound a lot worse than it is and to me july and august are you know they're they're uncomfortable but we put just, it that way, St. George 100 is way more manageable than Atlanta 75. There's there's no humidity. Usually our humidity is like less than 12%. And uh, January, our winter low is around 29 degrees. And we get on average 10 inches of rain a year and about 2 inches of snow a year. So, so very little precipitation. If you have a nice vehicle that you like to keep shiny, it'll stay shiny. And you know if you like to do things outdoors, which leads us into our next point, outdoor activities. You may consider retiring in Southern Utah if being able to stay active and do things outdoors is important to you. St. George, Utah is considered Utah's golf capital. Do you know that? I have didn't. So many courses, public and private courses, and you could golf literally year round. Uh, we have over 255 sunny days a year, so you could go out and golf, bike, hike. There's hiking trails and biking trails. If you live in St. George, you're literally never more than five minutes or maybe a quarter mile away from a trailhead. Mm -hmm. So, And these trailheads, they start within residential neighborhoods sometimes, and they lead you to this insane, incredible view somewhere off the cliff of the mountain. It's it's absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, mountain biking is absolutely incredible here. And I, mean, I, th I think that's one of the reasons, you know, they hold the the world championships or the world, like yeah. the Ironman. So yeah, there's a lot know. of sporting events that take place here. Uh, Huntsman Senior Games, mm -hmm. the Ironman. There's a ton of different marathons that take place. So if you're looking to stay competitive, healthy and super active, the weather is very conducive. Or maybe if hiking, biking and golf is not your thing um we're literally less than a day trip away from so many national parks i believe there's over 35 national parks that are less than a day trip away from here zion national park is less than 35 minutes away from downtown st george bryce canyon is about an hour and a half lake powell is about two hours if you want to go to the snow, you know, during the winter, you're not going to get it here, but it's never more than a 30 minute drive. If you need a little bit more nightlife or restaurant op options, Las Vegas is an hour and a half away. So, and you're surrounded by lakes. And so it's yeah, if you're into kind of in the boating and off roading. Yeah. San Hollow State Park is like literally 20 minutes away. You have an option for terrain anywhere between rock, rock climbing to the dunes and, of course, the lake is absolutely beautiful. There's a local dive school that teaches people how to dive here. So the water is always warm and always crystal clear. There's really no shortage of things to do if you're into outdoor activities. And next on our list is our low crime rate. Crime rate is ranked on a scale from, let, let's say, you know, it's one being low, 100 being high. And this is a U.S. average. So St. George violent crime is 11.2 and the US average is 22.7. It's less than half. And sometimes looking at numbers, like somebody tells you the stats for, I don't know, crime rate or any other numbers, it's kind of hard to put things in, in perspective, right? So it has become so common and so almost normal for crazy things to happen all over the US. You know, our neighbors in California or even Nevada, you you drive up and down the street and you see graffiti on the streets, you see, you know, the unfortunate the homeless people panhandling on every corner. 
Those are some of the things that you will for sure never see in St. George and Southern Utah in general. Yeah. If you see a homeless a homeless person, if you see trash on the streets or graffiti, it will shock you. You'll be like, oh my gosh, somebody's going to clean that up. It's not common around here at all. The community is super clean, no trash, no graffiti. It's safe. You and feel this safe. This might be an interesting, <laughs> interesting indicator, but one of our clients that recently came to visit said, you know, your, your Walmarts here really feel like targets. You know, <laughs> yeah. if, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. They literally, they just came for a two, three day trip, uh. showed them a bunch of homes. And when they left, they said this was the place they were comparing with a couple other options and states. And they felt so comfortable. And they just, they said they felt right at home here. And they did mention that the community was super clean, that they didn't even see any homeless people or graffiti and being born and raised here, I didn't really ever have to think about it after traveling to other cities. I'm like, yeah, that's true. I'm so lucky to be here. And having lived in Chicago for a large portion of my life, I'm still the type of guy to lock the door behind me and make sure that everything is secure. But violent crime, property crime, any things of that nature, I don't know, what, what are the stats for that? So the stats on property crime is just 29.9 and the U.S. average is 35.4. So pretty low. So we're substantially lower. So yeah. But yeah, those those are the things that you're not going to have to worry about. Whether you're raising a family or maybe you're towards uh, you know more of a settling down and relaxing stage of your life where you just want to retire and not have to worry about these crazy things, Southern Utah may be a great place for you. Now those were all of the positive things about living in St. George and Southern Utah. Let's talk about five reasons why you might regret making this move. First on our list on five reasons why St. George might not be a great fit for you is of course what what we already covered, the summer heat. The heat starts to really kind of kick in probably late June to early September. And like I said, temps can get up over 100, sometimes up to 110. They don't really cool off too much at night. Maybe they'll get down to 80. And this is not consistent the entire time. You know, we'll have dips. We It rained yesterday and we're in the we're in the hottest time of the year. It rained and it cooled it down. And, you know, we were at 102. But like we said, we don't have any humidity. So it's, you know, it's tolerable. Now we're not going to be hanging outside during that time unless we're at the lake or around the pool. We'll go out. Early mornings are the best during this during the hotter months. Well, sometimes, like we have two French Bulldogs. If you have a, a furry friend that you would like to take on walks regularly in the morning, they may even suffer from that a little bit because our Frenchie and our English Bulldog, they like to pull on a leash. So if you walk outside at like, I swear, sometimes even at six in the morning, it's already 85 degrees. And if your pet is pulling and tugging on a leash, they, they overheat almost instantly and the concrete stays hot. So for about three months, two and a half, three months out of the year, you literally have to be best friends with your air conditioning, hope that the AC in your car is working great, or you have the ability to leave this area periodically because if you head north for the mountains, you're typically going to see you know 20, 20 temperature degrees. drops by 20 to 30 degrees easily. Yeah. The next con on our list would be the cost of living. Definitely costs money to live here on a national average so overall cost of living in st george compared to the rest of the united states is at 103 percent with 100 being average st george is at 103 overall and groceries as far as groceries goes comparing to the u.s average of 100 we are at 93.7 so groceries here are a little bit more affordable and healthcare is at 108.1. So it costs about 8% more to have your healthcare coverage in Southern Utah. And then the housing cost is rated at a 131.4. And with a median sale price at around 576,000, it is certainly not cheap to, to be able to purchase a home here. So right now in what is it, June 24th or July 24th, sorry, middle of July of 2022, we're seeing a really interesting dynamic with the interest rates. And it has actually become a pretty 
okay place to to purchase a home. Now, let me digress a little bit. The reason why I say it's pretty okay, because just a few months ago, you had to literally fight with multiple offers. Well, right now we have a little bit more inventory on the market. And as a buyer, especially if you're not dependent on the interest rates, maybe you're coming in here with a little bit of cash from the sale of your house, you can actually make some deals happen and at least have a few homes to choose from. And our utilities are rated at a 95.3. So utilities are actually a little lower than uh, the national average. So especially if you have Dixie Power, Dixie Power is a coal powered power company. Uh Uh-huh. And it's in the top three of the nation's lowest. The rest of the city utilities like water, sewer, trash are pretty average at anywhere from about $65 to $90 a month. And natural gas averages out to about about $20 a month unless you have a pool that you're trying to heat. So utilities here are pretty manageable. And the biggest contributor to our overall expense of living here is, of course, real estate. So if you're looking to rent or buy and you have a tight budget, St. George might not be an ideal place for you. Another reason why retiring in St. George might be a terrible idea for you is the state income tax. Southern Utah or Utah in general assesses social security, retirement benefits, and other types of retirement income such as pension income and income from retirement accounts are also subject to state income tax of 4.95%. And it's a flat income tax. Um, So there are some other states, like our neighbors in Nevada, I know Florida doesn't have a retirement income tax. Isn't that like, pretty common, like most states? It's relatively common. Most states will have uh, retirement income tax. But we've heard from a number of our viewers that they've based some of their search for the best places to retire based on the places that don't assess that income tax. And depending on how your budgets play out, you know, usually when you go on a fixed income, uh, things like that, they matter. I mean, they make make a difference when you know that you have a certain amount of money in your budget for every month and it has to last you for so many years. So that is a factor. Southern Utah and St. George, Utah does tax retirement income. Okay, and next we have St. George is not a small town anymore. And my grandparents actually have lived here since there's only been one stoplight. So you can imagine how they feel now seeing the growth that they've experienced during their lifetime. And Nick, what is your perspective? You know, like it's hard for me to see, you know, I've grown up here my whole life, but you being here, you know, the last 10 years, how do you feel about the growth? Even in the last nine and a half, 10 years, my mind's been absolutely blown. So it could be a con for somebody that is looking for a smaller community. Sometimes we have folks reach out to us and say, hey, it's a, a town in the middle of the desert. We really want that small town feel where everybody knows everybody. There's not a whole lot of traffic, not a whole lot of congestion. We just want this comfortable, safe, quiet place. Now, St. George is safe, St. George is comfortable, but it's not little or necessarily quiet anymore because even in the last 10 years, I will post this photo here. The community has grown tremendously. St. George has been the top seven of the fastest growing metro areas. And when we when we talk about St. George, I often, people know about Southern Utah as St. George, but entire Washington County is composed of a number of communities like St. George, Washington, Ivan, Santa Clara, Hurricane, Tokerville. So this, imagine the southwestern corner of the state the most populous area of southwestern Utah. That's pretty much the entire community. Now, when you think about things, the inconveniences that it may cause, if if you have to go to Costco or you're planning on going out to dinner on a Friday night, you are dealing, population of St. George is around 100,000 right now. But realistically, nearly a quarter million people are using all of these amenities. So sometimes you may see a little bit of a congestion on River Road in the middle of rush hour. And it, if- it wasn't always like that. I I'm think, you know, it really got super busy probably within the last three years when we've really grown a lot. But also part of the problem is St. George's infrastructure wasn't really built for that kind of growth that kind of fast. So the city does have plans on expanding roads and making new routes, and they've been working on it constantly. So I 
in the future, things are going to, they're going to continue to get better. But yeah, as far as Nick was saying, restaurants, like if you go out on a weekend around six, seven, it's, you're going to, there's going to be a wait, uh, almost is, any restaurant worth waiting for. This is a life hack. And this is something that we do too. If you, if you really absolutely must go out to dinner on a weekend, having an early start, like going out around 4 30, you know, before yeah. five o'clock, that's going to be perfect. You're going to be able to get in before the rush. You're going to get seated right away. And, and you can go enjoy a movie gonna, right yeah, after. You're not going to spend an hour waiting for it. Yeah. Now for, for those of you that are, really after that small Western community that is further away from everybody. You don't want to have really close neighbors and you don't mind the smaller community, smaller town. I would recommend looking at either Cedar City, if you like Four Seasons. Mm -hmm. It's a much smaller community, about 50 miles north. And you really still get that that authentic small town feel where everybody kind of knows everybody. Mm -hmm. Super nice, super clean community, but it is considerably smaller than St. George. Price, you, prices are a little cheaper as well. Prices are a little bit cheaper. You get a little bit more bang for your buck. You get a little bit more land. Or if you're looking to be even further away and you absolutely hate snow the way I hate snow, then Kanab, Utah might be something to put on your radar. And Kanab is also a really small community. It's halfway to Lake Powell, just outside of Arizona border on the other side of Zion National Park. You get breathtaking views. And, but that, you know, that's one of the communities yeah. where you get a, a grocery store, a gas station, a corner diner, and that's it. But just tell us what's important to you. We can help pinpoint different areas if it's all based around budget or if it's based around, you know, what, what's important to you. Let us what are know. The things that you like to do. What are the types of neighbors you know maybe you're not opposed to having younger families around you or maybe you would rather to be in a mature community we don't know those things about you but we do know southern utah so reach out to us text us call us email us reach out to us on social media let us know what are a couple of those favorites for you and we'll put you in touch with with the perfect list of properties well, in the yeah we'll give you we'll give you options and I'm pretty sure 99% of the time, our clients are completely happy. We help them pick the right options and between the options we give them, they always end up picking one of them. Last on our list of reasons why St. George might not be a good fit for you is the lack of public transportation. I feel like single story America in general kind of lacks in that respect. So if you're not able or you just don't want to drive yourself, maybe you can't, you know, some people can't do it for uh, for a number of reasons, really. But utilization of public transit in St. George is 0.6%. 79.3% of all of local residents drive their own cars. And there's a small percentage of people that carpool and a percentage of people that work from home. But less than... A little more than half a percent of the entire population uses public transit. And that makes public transit girl scene effective. The bus routes are not not as convenient as any big city. Like if you think about LA, New York, Chicago, any any larger community, you pretty much don't have to have a car. You could get anywhere on the train, subway, or metro. St. George and Southern Utah in general is lacking that. So if you don't have your own car or if you're not able to drive or have somebody drive you around, that, that may pose some challenges. And if you have any more questions about where the public transportation, like how, how often do they have stops and the areas that it covers, reach out to us. We'll give you some more details about that. Obviously, there are Uber, Lyft, taxis. It can get quite costly. You know, if you have to Uber uh, yeah. just about anywhere you go, it, it could have some uh, built-in expense. Yeah. Folks, if you stuck around this far, our cons must not have deterred you from moving to this area. Thank you so much for staying in this video so far. And if you don't mind, if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like so that more people can discover this video. And right now we're going to dive into the top five communities that are amongst some of the favorites by our clients that had moved here previously and decided to make Southern Utah their home. Now, these communities will break down into some active adult communities that are 
considered 55 plus communities. And some, some of our clients absolutely love that because of sense of community and because they know that that will have a specific, specific vibe, specific atmosphere, specific group of people in that specific community, while others don't want to be limited by certain restrictions that these communities may pose. So we also selected some more exclusive private communities that might not be ideal for families with a ton of kids. So some of our retirees, they don't want to be in a 55 plus community, but at the same time, they still respect the peace and quiet and they, they still want to be surrounded by, by like-minded homeowners in the area. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Sun River, as I'm sure that you've heard of. Southern Utah is you know, super famous and known for Sun River. It's one of Southern Utah's premier master plan active adult lifestyle communities. Sun River is one of a kind and offers everything you need. Our clients that have moved to this development have absolutely loved it. It has literally everything you need, most beautiful golf courses. The number of homes in this community, just to give you an idea, has 2,400 plus homes and the prices range from low 300s to high of 1.2 million plus. And this is what's active on the market right now. The HOA is 175 monthly and it covers all the amenities plus partial yard maintenance. Sun River St. George is home to over 70 clubs and social groups. There is a club and group and amenity for everyone. And I'm gonna show you right here, just all the clubs, just to give you an idea. And if there isn't a club that you see on there, you can start a club that you don't see there. It's incredible. The sense of community. And if you're, you know, a lot of our clients are kind of picking up and leaving. And it's tough to do that after after living someplace most of your life. So making friends and making new connections, new relationships through these types of community events uh, is what our clients appreciate the most. Uh, no, Sun River also has a great clubhouse with a restaurant. Jeff Hogg's yeah. Oyster Bar and Grill. It's a steakhouse, seafood, lobster, shrimp. And they have amazing reviews. So Usually they have a, a chef menu that kind of changes every weekend. Mm -hmm. It's it's a great place to be because the, the restaurant's right at the clubhouse. It's on the green. It's mm -hmm. within the community. So if you live there, it's you could literally take your golf cart to the restaurant. And then there's um, a development within Sun River called The Reflections. It neighbors with Sun River, and it includes amenities that are available exclusively to the homeowners in the Reflections community. So anyone else in the development can't just walk into this gated community and use their amenities. So they have their own amenities. They have a clubhouse, multi-purpose room, exercise room, outdoor pool. Also within the Sun River community is the Sun River Villas. We've helped many clients move into the villas and they love it. It's beautiful. The important thing to note about the Sun River Villas, Sun River and the Reflections will have mostly single family homes. A lot of these homes, they range anywhere from late 90s to mid, mid 20. Not in the villas. No, I'm talking about Sun River and the Reflections. Reflections, yeah. So you'll have more traditional style homes they're single family homes, they're detached. They usually have a two or three car garage. When we when we talk about Sun River Villas, you get a little bit more bang for your buck, but a lot of these units are attached. So they're really modern. They're attached two at a time. So right, they're, yeah. so they're, they're duplexes, yeah. duplexes townhomes. They're two car garage. They're a little more modern. They're all newer. It's, a, it's a newer development. Level, but yeah. some of them have an upstairs. Yeah, so they've got like, I mean, they've got like 10 different floor plans. Um, so they've got 340 total homes, just to give you an idea of that development. They have four new constructions left, new constructions homes left as of right now, as we're shooting this video. And the prices range in there is 300s, low 300s to mid 600s. The HOA is $170 monthly that covers the clubhouse, the exterior building insurance, the pool, partial yard maintenance and the pickleball courts. And this clubhouse is beautiful. 
by like Absolutely. going out there. Yeah, it's 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 really nice, really modern. That entire community is only I want to say it's no more than three years old. And within the Sun River development, if you're interested in viewing any of these this area, we're going to post an active MLS link to this community below in the description below this video. And this link is live, so no matter when you're watching that video, it will give you the most recent up-to-date listings that are available in Sun River. We're going to do that with all the communities that we cover. We're going to post active links so that you can see you know, what's available. And of course, if, if there is something in particular that you're after, please reach out to us and we could customize your search to be your very own. And since Sun River is pretty much almost built out and it's been such a big hit, they are actually starting a new community called Sun River Firelight. And that's going to be located in Tokerville, just outside of Hurricane Springdale and Zion National Park in your backyard. Tokerville is five degrees cooler than St. George. It's 23 miles apart and 30. 500 feet above sea level. You avoid the snow in the winter. This development will consist of 1,200 single family homes with three and four car garages, a house for your life and all your toys. Home prices have not been released yet, but they will be very competitive and will offer designs not available in many St. George communities. Get in contact with us if you would like to be put on their waiting list. I think it'll be definitely something that's worth waiting for. Tokerville is beautiful. It is just two exits north of Hurricane Utah. I know it's spelled hurricane, but the pronunciation is hurricane. Mm -hmm. It will put you in range to be really close to all the amenities, but still a little bit further away. So if that's, if that's your thing, that may be something that's worth waiting for. There's certainly pros and cons to living in a 55 plus community. If you have ever experienced it, I'm sure you could give me about a list of things why you wouldn't want to be in a 55 plus community. Some of our clients having lived in a 55 plus community before say that they would prefer to retire here, but they don't necessarily want to be in a retirement community, but they also don't want to be surrounded by families with lots of young kids. So our solution historically for this has been, and has been working wonderfully selecting communities that are not near the best, the most desirable school districts where, in other words, if, if there's a family with kids, they will likely look at like Washington Fields or Little Valley because they're surrounded by the best school districts. So if you're thinking about something like that, you should consider the Ledges of St. George. It's about five minutes away from St. George proper. It's near Snow Canyon, so it's surrounded by absolutely incredible views of White Rock and Red Rock and a portion of that community actually looks down into Snow Canyon. There's mm -hmm. a gated side and a non-gated non side. On the gated side... Both have golf courses. Both have golf courses. Uh, there is a clubhouse that is shared. There's a small portion of that community that's reserved for Airbnb, but the rest of it is kind of off to the side with Hidden Pinion being one of the newer developments in that community. And the non-gated side has a restaurant called Fish Rock Grill. And since it's the non-gated, it is open to the public. And yep. it is it is massive. Yeah, it's huge. And uh, of course, you're on a public golf course. So you are literally right there. You're in a yeah. golf course. So you could go and golf year round. The restaurant has amazing food, by the way. And it has a massive clubhouse, which could be reserved for your events and gatherings. If you've got, you know, large parties or family coming to town, family reunions, things like that. The restaurant is right on a golf course, incredible views. Most of the homes in that community, if we're actually on either side, are going to be more modern flat roofs. The ledges currently ranges anywhere from around 900,000 to about 3 million. The HOA kind of varies depending on what part of that. Because there's several right? different little developments within the ledges and they each have their own HOA. So if this is something you want to consider. Check we'll out the link in the description below. We have all of the active listings for all the ledges communities the, listed. The, the views are absolutely breathtaking. So if views are high on your priority list, ledges you're definitely going to want to consider and a lot of these properties have a lot of rear privacy because they either back up onto the golf course or if you have a rear neighbor you typically have a wash or a ravine between properties so you're never never right on top of another neighbor okay next on our list we have stone cliff 
Stone Cliff is one of the most sought-after luxury gated communities in southern Utah. It's located on a huge bluff in the heart of St. George with 180-degree panoramic views. The Stone Cliff community was carefully planned to maximize vistas at every home site. With terrace lots, precise building guidelines are in place to ensure these views will remain for every home now and forever. Stone Cliff boasts 24-hour gated security, indoor and outdoor pools, spas and cabanas, a clubhouse fitness center, as well as pickleball and tennis and basketball courts for year-round enjoyment. The HOA here is $235 monthly, and the prices are based on what's currently listed right now, range from $1.2 million to $6 million plus. Stone Cliff is now entering the final phases of development. In other words, time is limited to build the house of your dreams. And we will post an active link below so that you guys can see, you know, what's available here. But same, it's it's up on this bluff and you get the 180 degree panoramic views. It's absolutely beautiful. It's And I'll post a link up here. I'll tag it up above this video to some of the parade homes that have been in the St. George Parade of Homes in Stone Cliff. They're absolutely impressive. I would say this is one of the one of the higher end communities in Southern Utah that shows the latest in building trends, the most extravagant homes with infinity edge pools, amazing views. You have a 24 hour gate attendant at the gate and the entire community is elevated up above the rest of St. George and it's literally minutes away from everything. So up next on our list is Green Springs. Green Springs is another one of those great communities that works really well for a lot of our retiree clients because it's right on a golf course. So Green Springs course is one of the top Southern Utah golf courses. It is a public course. The entire community is situated around it. It's about five minutes away from Costco. It is in Washington, Utah. It's really close to I-15. You also get the most breathtaking views of Pine Valley Mountain. Every every community that we're covering has, I mean, when I retire, I want to be in a home that every time I look out my window, I'm seeing a beautiful- Makes you happy. Be- yeah, yeah. I just want to, you want to be happy. You want to look out your window and be happy where you are and, you know, happy with the scenery. Yeah. You get absolutely incredible views to the north. You're, you're almost, and this is kind of how you navigate around St. George- Pine Valley Mountain is always to your north, mm-hmm. and a lot of Green Springs home sites are based so that you have that view from the backyard. A lot of these lots are tiered, and the community was being started in like probably mid '90s from the kind of the the, the foot of that hill, mm-hmm. and all the more modern, all the newer stuff continues to go up that hill. There are several HOAs and several communities within Green Springs. It's a rather large development, and there is definitely something for everyone. Some of the homes are directly on the golf course, like they're literally right on the green, Mm -hmm. and some of the homes go a little bit further out. But majority of the Green Springs population is empty nesters, mature families, families without kids. So you're not going to have to worry about, you know, sharing your driveway with a neighborhood kid riding a bicycle through it or somebody ripping up a dirt bike up and down your street. Yeah. If you want a little bit more peace and quiet, Green Springs may be ideal for you. Properties here range anywhere from about 650000 to about $2.5 million. Plus. I will post all of the listings that are currently active and no matter when you're watching this video this link will be up to date in the description below this video community has several hoas and non-hoas that uh, kind of vary in range so if you have any questions please reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer them okay so next on our list is mojave mesa it's a development located in Ivan's right off 500 West and Highway 91, and it features the beautiful red mountain views. Ivan's is just 10 miles outside of St. George. Mojave Mesa has 10 spec homes at various stages right now, and one out of 10 is move-in ready. Prices on these 10 spec homes range from mid 600s to 1 million. They have 28 lots left in addition to the 10 spec homes. Most of the 28 lots will be flat roofed homes and they will start in the 800s to 1.4 million because of the incredible views and the larger size lots. Some of these homes sit on third acre lots. The HOA is $25 monthly 
And the builder and his team go above and beyond. And it really shows our clients who have purchased in this development recently have been really happy. And you, yeah, ha and you get those views of this really red rock mountains in Ivins and they're, of course, breathtaking and we've views. I've been very pleased with the builder and all the finishes that are selected. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, there may be some resales in that neighborhood. It is a relatively new neighborhood. Mojave Mesa is located off Highway 91. That's mm -hmm. the, the way you used to get to Las Vegas. That's the highway that bypasses uh, the gorge. It goes on the backside of the gorge. And Ivan's area in general, like just commuting to your home or going to the grocery store, you are surrounded by these absolutely unreal red mountain views if you've never been to this area it will it will guarantee to blow your mind even after you've lived here for a while every time i go there everything feels so manicured the roundabouts the the roundabout that you see in the intro mm -hmm. for our video is actually on the border of ivan's and santa clara so ivan santa clara and saint george are all really kind of close together and that part of town closer to Ivan's and Santa Clara has been an absolute favorite for a lot of our clients. It definitely has its own feel outside of St. George. Yeah, like it really does. It's got a little bit slower pace and it's a little quieter. I think you, if you come visit the area, you definitely need to check it out. It definitely feels like a resort community. Mm -hmm. And speaking of resort communities, up next is another exclusive community that our clients that retired here absolutely enjoy and of course we're talking about entrada entrada is a private exclusive golf course community it is a gated community with a 24-hour gate attendant that has many luxurious amenities it has a massive clubhouse with a spa and a restaurant and um, it is a private golf community so the the golf course is in the top of the best golf courses in southern utah it has predominantly luxury southwestern design mm -hmm. um, a lot of in fact all the homes are single story homes and most of the community has been built out on like a bed of like lava rock like of course they've yeah. you know they've shifted and moved it all around for the homes but a lot of these homes kind of blend in with the nature the architectural standards are really manicured and a lot of no no two properties are truly alike on the inside because mm -hmm. that community consists of a lot of custom homes and a lot of homes will have floor to ceiling windows flat roofs and the home really becomes one with its surroundings some of the homes are close to the green but a lot of the homes are very private now the lots in entrada are typically not huge mm -hmm. but the land is utilized really well where even if the property is situated on a quarter acre lot or less, typically you get a lot of privacy from your side and your rear neighbors and every home feels incredibly unique. A lot of the properties in Entrada will have a separate entry and will have a casita and the properties range anywhere from around 1600 square feet to I would say about 5,000 square mm -hmm. feet in some of the newer homes. But on average, they're around 2,000 square feet with either an attached or detached casita in some cases. Mm -hmm. Private courtyards are very prominent and very common here. And your your backyard is often designed for you to just take in the zen, the mm -hmm. serenity of this community. And A lot of the homes will have floor-to-ceiling windows so that you can take in those beautiful views. And a lot of the homes will have massive sliders. So the entire backyard can open to an indoor-outdoor living space. Uh, and of course, with a golf course of that level, it is absolutely incredible to be able to just hop into a golf cart. So most of the garages are the three car garages where one bay is designated just to have a golf cart because you could get around that community, you go to the clubhouse, you go to the pool, you could go shoot a round of golf. And then and their fitness center is pretty big and it's really nice. And then swing by the, the clubhouse and the restaurant for a great dinner. Mm -hmm. And if you're visiting this area and you're checking out Entrada, I would definitely recommend grabbing a lunch at uh, the restaurant, the clubhouse. Their food is absolutely incredible. And as a part of your HOA fee, you have to spend, I believe it's $800 a year on mm -hmm. food, which would be pretty easy to do in this yeah. community. 
And folks, if you're interested to see what is currently active in Entrada, there is a link in the description below this video. You can um, click on that link to, to give you an idea of what's, what's current there right now. This video is being shot in July, July 24th of 2022. Uh, but we hope that it stays relevant for years to come. So these links will give you the most up-to-date pricing information as real estate and markets have been changing all over the U.S. It's hard to keep these numbers up to date. If you have found this video helpful, the information that we've provided, if you have any more questions or you want to come visit the area or you're considering retiring here, please reach out to us. We love nothing more than to hear from our viewers and subscribers and we would love to help you see if this is a good fit for you. You can call us, text us, email us anytime. If you prefer to have things a little bit more organized, there is a link to schedule an appointment on our calendar. Michonne and I would absolutely love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. And as you will see here, there are a couple more videos that might be helpful for you if you're considering Southern Utah in your near future.